This morning on Reuters Breaking Views, why Spain's hasty DIY bankier recap smells fishy. With me now to discuss these stories is Reuters Breaking Views assistant editor Chris Hughes. Um, do you not like the sound of this uh, of this rescue? I mean, it's the Spanish government doing it, not uh, the bailout partners or the funds. Well, it's look, it's good that look. It's not about liking it. This rescue is needed because. Um, you don't uh, like bank the bank results though, show that its its capital is being eroded massively uh, during the first half uh, due to ongoing losses. So it needed a recap because its tier one ratio is going down from sort of eight and a half ish to um, to well below seven. Um, so it needed funds. Now the, the odd thing is that um, it was only a few months ago that uh, Madrid had agreed um, a special uh, bank recap fund a support program uh, with its Eurozone partners, um, which had a special provision in there for you know an emergency situation like this, and yet that isn't being used, which is mm. which is somewhat odd. No, but that so was contingent, that, wasn't it? Wasn't that contingent on a bad bank plan? That's right, and that may be the reason that Madrid is actually recapitalising. Um, bank here dire directly and not using this fund because there are various conditions attached to this special um, Eurozone bank rescue fund, uh, including setting up a bad bank. Um, and, uh, and, and the upshot of that is that um, if Madrid had gone down that route, it may have had to impose losses on the creditors of Bankia, many of whom are retail investors who bought its preferred shares. Now, if it goes directly and recapitalizes itself, which is what it's doing through the, the so-called FROB uh, facility, then um, it doesn't have to do that. So actually, uh, the, uh, these uh, holders of these bankier preferred securities, as in many of whom are, are retail investors, will not, um, for now, uh, be impacted by this. So mm -hmm. politically, you can see why Madrid wants to sort of take this on its own uh, on its own books. But I mean, it may not be able to avoid um, uh, haircutting these uh, these retail investors. But at least right now it buys time. It's basically buying time. It may actually be able to find, if it does have to go down the route, it may be able to, be able to cobble, cobble together another plan whereby yeah. uh, even do, if... Do you think they'd do the same thing if, if another bank uh, fell into trouble in Spain? Well, there's a limit to how much... I mean, you know, it's not like Spain, uh, the Spanish finances um, have capacity to, to absorb right. um, major bank rescues. That's why this fund was set up. Um, now, as it happens, this is the, 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 the sums involved here are kind of swallowable. Um, could it be repeated? Would be probably quite tricky. But um, for now, um, this looks like um, a sort of temporary uh, response to the problem. You know, it buys some time. It may actually be that we'll see another uh, recap further down the line that does involve some haircutting of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of bank accreditors, but gives them uh, gives them some compensation over time. Okay, Chris, many thanks for that. Chris Hughes, uh, if you want to watch our US Breaking Views show, every day, 12.30 Eastern, 17.30 BST. I'm Axel Throvel. This is Reuters. Moved now. You happy? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm I'm as, I'm as unhappy as I was before, but I was actually even unhappier for a minute. Uh, so I know I've just done just done that. Uh, what will it take to make?